Hi, welcome back to Cloud Scholars. I'm your host, Kieran Truss. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you what network security groups are and why they're so important. Microsoft's definition is uh, Azure network security groups are used to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network. A network security group contains security rules that allow or denies inbound network traffic to or outbound network traffic from several types of Azure resources. For each rule, you can specify the source and destination, port and protocol. Basically, what a network security group is, is used as rules for your network to follow. So, what are NSG's network security groups used for? So, network security groups, NSGs, are used for to secure, only allow specific individuals in, protect, keep your data and resources safe from unwanted personnel, isolate, keep specific resources in its own container, and also route management, allow certain things in and certain traffic out. Attributes of a NSG. First is the name. You have to name your network security group. Then this priority, is it between one and 4,096? Source, let's say you want the RDP into your network. For the source, you can define where the source IP can originate from. So you can put your own public IP address from your home in the network security group rules and allow RDP only from your home network. You can also do destination. Where is it going out to? How are you filtering out traffic it out to the world? You can actually do a network security group to go through a firewall if you wanted to do it that way. Protocol is pretty much, you know, what, what are you using? Are you using RDP, SSH, so on and so forth. Direction is whether the rule applies inbound or outbound. Ports. Range are which is open for connection. And finally, action is deny or allow. Breaking down your network security groups into subnets allows NSGs to work their magic. Here we have three subnets. The first subnet is web tier. The second subnet is a business tier. And the third subnet is a data tier. Each subnet has a network security group which net network security group defines how traffic is going to go in and out. So for the web tier, that would be public facing. So you would want your users, or I should say customers, being able to hit your web website so that this way that you can get that traffic. But then you can have another tier which talks to that those web servers. So say if you have a bunch of virtual machines that are doing something, um, you don't want your client to be able to uh, see this tear, right? So you would have a network security group to only allow traffic from the web servers, whether it's APIs or whatever you're using it for, for your business reasons. Then you would have the data tier. This last tier is gonna keep and stay isolated. This is probably where your SQL databases are running. So the way you set up your network security groups are basically for your business functionality. So you would one have your network security groups and then it's also essential to make sure that you set up your virtual network when you're designing it, that you have subnets within your virtual network and then you apply those resources, or I should say place those resources in those subnets that have the same business function. Th those subnets need to follow a principle for your business, whether that is web tiers or that principle for those functions is databases you would always want to keep your databases behind enemy lines or something that you you can only get to it from something like a bastion host or a jump box or whatever you would like to call it and you can set that up in a certain way using network security groups so i hope that explains how network security groups are utilized um then i'm going to create a video uh detailing how you set up a network security group and utilize priority and really go into you know how that technical aspects of network security groups are 
So once more, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. See you next time.